Charlie Cannon, Charlie Cannon, boom, boom, boom. We are not pirates. We're synchronized, apparently. We, we are synchronized. Ben, you and I even have the same model car now. We both switched. We do. Different we do. paint jobs. Yeah. Well, I, actually, yours looks really cool. I like my tires, though. If I were to have those on like my real car, I would be delighted. I would like to have my tires on my car. I would like to have my then... tires on my car. I think it would be great to see a Prius with those tires. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It does yes. seem like the kind of thing a Prius would have. It does <laughs> feel that way. Don't you? Isn't it funny sometimes when you see cars and they're like, Really old and really run down, but someone was like, I'm getting, I'm paying money on these wheels. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, I'm getting rims, man. Like, <laughs> what? Was that the best call? I don't know. I'll tell you what was a good call. Boom rules, which if you need a refresher, because we took a week off, is that if during the game, one of us gets demoed by the computer, we have to sit out until one of our teammates demos one of them. And so far it's had some interesting results. And uh, perhaps it will continue on today. Well, let's see what happens today, yeah. Let's I'm very, see what I'm happens very curious. the old cyclones. <laughs> the old cyclones. It's yeah. too bad we can't convince the computer to also play by these. Yes, games, if we could you know? enforce this, that would be even better. Because then we could just demo, we could just focus on that right out of the gate. That and, would be uh, good fun, actually. Yeah. No problem. Boom! Boom! But not really. Right? Whoop, okay. Oh, that's not good. Wow. Oh, I got it! Oh, Woo. good save! Good save. Thank, you, thank you. Man, I'm excited to see some booming. Oh, are you now? Yes. I'm, I, Shall I, I we mean, have... I'm not, I don't. I don't really want the boom rules Whoops. to come into into play. Yeah, really. You know. if it, if they don't, be better no! Off. no, Fury. Booms, though, we've just been scored a pwn. I know. I almost had it. Check this out. Check this out. Look, I had like. Oh, oh wow. And then, oh, and then, then I oh, 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 so man. close. Okay. Man. Bummer. Man. Nicholas J. Fury. Boomer is more like it, if you ask me. Boomer is definitely more like it. Boom. Woo. Oh man, the old. That was a, that was a pinch. Fast. <laughs> yeah. The old hind fast. Not to be confused with the old hind slow, which is of course much slower. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Notably. Notably slower. So we have a question today from Laura Beth Oliver. Laura Beth Laura Oliver. Beth Oliver. Yes. And she says, hello, Ben, D, K, J, and Oops, Jordan. I just missed that. That's going to go right in. Oh, no. No! Harry! Again? You one-eyed monster. <sighs> Worst. Oh, boy. Man, that's just, he wasn't even shooting. He just bounced off him nicely. Okay. Sorry, what Whatever. was the question, no, Jordan? totally fine. <clears throat> uh, she says, I have a slight predicament. I love acting, but haven't made it into any plays recently. I also want to join the archery team because I really like it, but signing up for archery would basically prevent me from being in any plays in the near future. What should I do? Huh. Uh, this uh, is like a prime uh, example uh, of uh, there's one thing I want to do, but hey, there's also something else I want, I want to, to do. do. Yeah. yeah. And I can't decide which of those things I'd like to do. So I wonder how, well, this person sounds like it must be in high school because yeah. there's Probably. an archery team in play. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, yeah. And I don't know about you guys, but I haven't seen any local archery teams. I would be on the archery I would, team. I would absolutely join yeah, a local can. archery team. Ben, do you want to start an archery team? An yeah. archery club? The Roller Oak Archers. Yeah. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. I mean, I think it seems like an interesting um, way to go. Yeah. Um, okay, so how do you guys balance things? If there's if there's more than one thing that you want to yeah, do... Yeah, we score! Well, it's interesting because they said that they uh, haven't been in a play lately. And they're, like they said, they're pretty likely to be in high school. And it makes me question or uh, sort of curious about how many different opportunities they might have per year. Yeah, that, that's interesting that like, nor like in our high school it was... One play, one play a year, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and I don't know, maybe this high school. If they have an archery team, though, they might it could be, be a big such a high, big yeah, high they, school. They, they that, could have yeah. four a year. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Um, um, that being like, uh, if you haven't, I. It seems like yeah, in high school, and I don't know because I didn't do drama or anything, but. There was often, uh, if you wanted to be in the play, nice you could be in the play. That is very yeah. true. You know, yeah. like At there's room school, for you. It was like we need people. Um, yeah. More, Jane, more not only did you get that goal, you demoed someone. Oh, well, good. Was pretty. I'm angry. <laughs> We're back in this game, though, y'all. Yeah. Back in it. Back in it. Um, I, yeah, I think that you probably could do both. Uh, I think you. Oh no, Derek. Yes. What a save. What a I mean, save. I, I feel like it, it was a minimal effort on my part. It was kind of coming right at me. For well, the pirates. I, I so one of care. my questions is uh, why, like, if you haven't been in any plays lately, is that because? There hasn't been the opportunity because you haven't been cast, or 
because you've been less interested in it. Because it's totally it okay to like. It sounds to me like they in. maybe aren't as interested uh -oh. as they have told themselves uh, that they are. That they are. Mm -hmm. Dude, I have this. This happens to me almost every time I transition from one hobby to the next. Mm -hmm. I do this thing where it's like. Whenever I'm into something, it's effortless for me to do it. I want to go climbing. I want to go ride my bike. I want to go for a run. Yeah. Uh, and the thing is, is that all of those things are pretty mutually exclusive. So it's like, once I transition from biking to rock climbing, what I want to do is go rock climbing. Rock climbing yeah. um, but I end up having this dilemma where I'm like, but I'm a mountain biker. Like, I, I identify sure, sure. as like, this thing. Oh, right. And it's like, well, if I don't go, then then I can't be a mountain biker anymore. And I've, right. I've kind of con come to enjoy this, this, this self-proclaimed yeah. title. Yeah. yeah. Um, this I feel like I, I experience this sort of thing a lot. Oh, come on. With yes. people who want to do YouTube, that are like, like, oh, I want to be like, I want to be a YouTuber or whatever. But then they'll say, but I haven't uploaded anything in you know two months, or I can't. Yep, yep, sorry. What? I, no, no, I, I, I was being subtweeted, it's fine. I, I, was, I was literally not even talking about you, but, um... Are I you talking I, about me? No, I'm not talking about anyone in this room. <laughs> I'm genuinely talking about people who I have met at, like, conventions and stuff, and they ask us questions, and... Yeah, no, I, I get you. This is what happens. Dude, are you talking about me? No. We made two videos this week, everyone, okay? <laughs> everyone, relax! <laughs> 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 Boy, I just had a really good save that yes, I, again, had no part in. I was just there. Oh, man. Um, but so, my thought a lot of times with these people is that they will often, like, sit there and beat themselves no. up over the fact that they haven't made a video for a while or that um, they can't stick to a schedule or something. And, like, to me it often sounds like they don't actually enjoy it, but they, like, thought they wanted to do it for a very long time and even started doing it. But yeah. then it's like, I don't know, if you if you want to do it, you'll do it. That's that's you know? very true. Yeah. Like, so you'll do you'll do the thing that you want. Like if you haven't been in a play in a while, maybe it's because the parts are so limited. That was an amazing. I can't believe that happened. That was an amazing. I can't believe that happened. Yeah, that was. That's exactly what happened. Dude, I'm um, not gonna lie to you. Actually, once in my life, in order to get over um, a, a situation with a girl, I started playing Diablo 2 because I knew that it would consume my attention. <laughs> <laughs> like I awesome. used it as a tool. I was like, you know what? I know I'll get obsessed with it. Therefore. I won't no. think about the rest of this stuff, and I'll be great. Bump you off yeah, the I think there. maybe right. the a big overarching piece of advice here is just because you have done something historically doesn't mean you have to continue. To no! Oh, yeah, I think that having that self awareness, and like when it comes to uh, theater, um, having that self awareness of like it's like what? Oh, oh, come oh my on. gosh! Seriously? Of like, why am I not being cast? Am I not being cast because <coughs> maybe I'm not like working towards it? Maybe I'm not. Uh, you know, putting in as much effort as other people that are being cast, maybe I don't know, maybe it's just a highly competitive thing and that could be something that you could be into uh, or like have casts, have roles uh, for in the future, still in high school I think that also I don't know, what do you see, like also maybe what do you see yourself doing uh, post high school come on, no, okay good oh jeez oh, um, and that's something to maybe ask yourself as well. Right, it's like acting your preferred career choice. Because yeah. then you probably shouldn't do archery, you should really focus on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's but it hard to become to a professional archer, from what I hear. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. yeah did you do competitive archery for a little while? Uh, yeah, when I was very young. But I didn't have any friends that did it, and I got bored. <laughs> but you didn't do professional archery? No. Uh, no, not, not, not professional, no. Uh, I did go to the World Championships. Three-dimensional target shoot in Flatwoods, West Virginia. Wow. When I was, I think, 13. And I was in the like under 18 category, and everybody was pulling much more weight on their bow than me, and I felt very bad. But there were also 17-year-olds in the exactly. 13. <laughs> exactly. That's like being an accelerated reader, you know? Like you take these quizzes and you get points for them, and then eventually you get to go to an auction where you get to use your points. But each of the school systems weighted them differently. And oh, I still can't that's believe. so silly. 
that this that this story happened to you. Dude, and it did straight oh, up. Oh, yeah. You had all these terrible stories like this in elementary school. Like, nothing would go your way. No. Oh, man, the Cyclones. The Cyclones. Hey, yeah. yeah, it's all good. We were just obviously talking about more important things today yeah. than focusing on our, uh, man, I'm really not useful. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no, but that's okay. You're still just warming up, really. I'm just warming up. That's all it is. We're only, like, in today's shooting schedule, we're only really five games in. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh no, guys, the evil Skycorp. Oh, Skycorp. Oh, and boy. we're below the fold. And we are, yeah. Oh, oh dang. Oh, no. At least if we get boomed, we could be like, well. Well, we're, boom, we're down boom. by one, you know. Actually, yeah. you want to know what's oh, hilarious? So, look at old Victor Crumb. Uh, no. oh. Stop catching the stitch so soon. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Give your team a chance to win. My God. It'd be great if he had lost all those games, like, by one. Right, <laughs> like really high scoring. Um, oh, for yeah, a second, was, I yeah. thought we had a little same, frozo same. situation. Um, no, I think uh, it is a, it is a, a, t a tough thing to be like, oh, hey, well, I like both juice. of these things. Which is more important to me? Yeah, if you had to choose. Um, the other thing is maybe even just determining whether or not you have to choose. I mean, like I yeah, yeah I feel like they maybe don't necessarily. Like yeah, it could be. Right. I mean, I don't know how often archery team meets. Also, the, the person is, uh, is talking about like being involved in theater, but also not being cast. And let me tell you, uh, if you want to help, uh, crew, like yeah, there's got to be there's got to be room for you in the theater yeah. department and in some way. Also, in also, school. if that is well, no, oh, that's not great. Well, I mean, crew doesn't take quite as much time Correct. for as long of time. Also, also, if that is a like career choice you're looking at, if you want to be uh, like lighting or costume design or something, you are going to find jobs. Uh, theater is way more competitive for uh, performers. Talent, yeah. yeah than, I have uh, to imagine though that as talent, it is, I I'm sure you eventually learn all this stuff anyway, but like, like it makes you a better actor to understand a better stage actor to understand everything the crew is doing. Absolutely. Yeah. There, that, that applies to so many facets of life. Like, yes, oh, yeah. that's right. Going through it. and doing the, the behind the scenes or the, the final step makes you better at all of the previous steps. Also, for everyone who's watching at home, if, if you're neutral on watching the game, the sky that you can see in Jay's screen right now it's is pretty good. beautiful. It's pretty good. Like, it took me a minute to realize that that is a video game Ooh. and oh, not like oh, a real life. Yeah. Oh, losing the old Sky Corp. Oh, oh this is no good at all. We are rusty. We are, we are pretty rusty. We're like, we like a Yeah. Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, man. You get your sock on and it tears a hole so, in it and you don't throw them away defense. for three months anyway. I'm going to pretend that my socks that I'm wearing right now don't have holes in them. Ben, <laughs> you had an accelerated reader story. Yeah! Okay, so when you were a kid in my, at our uh, school system, there was this thing called Accelerated Reader, and you would basically read a book from the library, and then you'd be able to log in and take a test on it. The difficulty or length of the book typically determined how many points you earned by passing the test, and you earned a percentage of those points based on what your score on yes. the Woo! Score there it is! is. Yep, right. we um, had that at my school, so it is not just a Virginia thing at the very least. Good to know, good to know. Okay, so one year, in order to, uh, like, a part of a book drive to get kids to reading more books, they did this thing where they were like, if you can get 75 or more points, then you can go to an auction and use your points as like dollars and then parents would donate, you know, like yeah. whatever. So our dad was like a medium sized local celebrity. So I brought like uh, an autographed John Carlin NBC hat because- Oh, cool. Yeah. That's neat. That kids could like, you know, no! <laughs> but like, there were there were things like stereos and you know other really cool stuff that you could spend significantly yeah. more on. But the weird thing about it was the school systems did not have like a consistent way of scoring the things. So, I do not understand. Meaning I, that like the accelerated reader points would vary? Or the how accelerated they reader them. points and what books were available varied. So for example, I read like 25 books and I had 84 points you guys going with me. Um, other kids, if they had read the Harry Potter books, they were worth 40 points a piece. Right. And the Harry Potter books, which I had read a million times, weren't even on my reading list. They weren't even on, like, my test, so I couldn't take them. And the highest point value I had for anything was, like, three points. <gasps> what? That's yeah. ridiculous. So it was just this, like, 
crazy unfair situation yeah, like where some kids showed up standardized system here and they had five six hundred points to work with and i had 84. let it happen right. let it happen oh come on the only thing and this is what i took home from the day that i was even able Jake. to bid on <laughs> was your own <laughs> No, it was not Dad's hat. Oh my gosh, like, that would have been so hard. <laughs> it was a uh, die-cast uh, number 18 NASCAR toy. Oh gosh. Uh, who, it was the inter interstate, interstate battery. battery. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember who it was who actually drove that car. But that's what I walked away with. And like, all these other kids walked away with like a brand new <laughs> yeah. stereo system. With reading their like, four books. Right. That's just, like, so strange. It was, it was very Do you happen to remember what grade you were in? I want to say I was in fifth grade. Okay, because that actually leads me to a story. Fifth grade was the year that the Harry Potter books were added to our accelerated reader list, and we we were in the same grade in school. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and so that was the very first year that they were available on accelerated reader, and um, our school went ahead and bought that version so that we would have the Harry Potter books. And I remember right at the beginning of fifth grade, our teacher said. Uh, whoever in the class gets, um... Woo, we're gonna take it! Yes! Gets 50 points first. Gets this, like, jersey thing that I... Sure. Need, or th that, that could be used as a sleep shirt on a fifth grade sized human. Sure, sure. Um, and so I had just reread all of the Harry Potter books that summer. And so I took all of the tests on the Harry Potter books which I believe up to that point, it was just up through number four? Four. That sounds right, yeah. Um, and so I read all of them and they were each worth 10 points. And so then I got 40 points and then I just read two other books that were worth five-ish points and got it within the first month of school. Okay. And other kids were upset because they're like, well, you're getting credit for books that you read over the summer. And I was like, I mean, no. I can reread them again if you would like, because the next closest person had fewer than 10 points. Oh, wow. Right. So um, you were like, you were eons. You were like a real big nerd. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Although, I don't know any Harry Potter fan who doesn't claim to have read the Harry Potter books at least 10 times while they're in elementary school. Right. Yeah. Like, sure, sure. it's like, other people could or should have read them. Like, it wasn't... That's not something that you were, like, reading so far beyond what you were supposed to be. Like... Like, I, I had also read the Harry Potter Yeah, you're not reading War and Peace as a fifth grader. Exactly. Right? Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, uh, you did, did you not read War and Peace as a fifth I don't think you could have even understood no, it. No, I think the, the really weird one that I read was uh, The Odyssey in the summer between third and fourth grade. Ah, The Odyssey. Yeah. Yeah. It was long. And honestly, I don't recommend name. it to elementary schools. Yeah, I can At all. imagine. That, that adds up, that adds up. Well, hey, we won, y'all. Dude, we, we could lose the old team evil Skycore oh, right? over there. We would have been yeah. tied with them, too. Oh, the real, the real so we've put two games Back between us pool. now. Oh, yes. look at that. So who must have lost then? The old Ender Wiggins. Yeah. But not the Express, man. They continue to just chug on forward like a couple yeah, of the Seekers won. They are. Look at them. But the Seekers got a win. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. yeah. There it is. I wonder, can we see how much uh, did they win Against by? the Monarchs by one. Mm, the old single arches. There it is. Man. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. Uh, let us know what were we talking about in this video. How do you would, <laughs> would you rather be a professional archer or a professional actor? They both start with A, so they're basically the same thing. That's yep. pretty much it. Until next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>